Welcome, I'm Paolo Gisondi from the University Hospital of Verona and welcome to my presentation entitled Management of Psoriasis with Biologics during COVID-19 pandemic. So the content of my presentation is to share my experience in managing patients on Biologic during COVID-19 pandemic, particularly to reply to this question. The first is, should psoriasis patient on Biologic stop the treatment during the COVID-19 pandemic? And the second, which was the outcome of those patients on Biologics who develop COVID-19? I would like to introduce you the case of Emanuele, he is 46. He's a winemaker in Val Policella. Emanuele is affected also by, psori uh, by psoriasis, of course, as you can see in the picture, diffuse psoriasis, but also by obesity, dyslipidemia, reduced glucose tolerance, and liver cetosis. Emanuele has a metabolic syndrome. So, Emanuele is receiving a biological treatment with IL-17 inhibitor with a beautiful response for the skin remission. Treatment is well tolerated, no worsening of metabolic parameters. However, Emanuele is worried because of the risk of COVID-19. I received a phone call from Emanuele, he told me, Paolo, I'm worried because of the COVID. Should I stop the treatment? Why could Emanuele be at risk for COVID-19? Emanuele has comorbidities that are risk factors for a negative outcome of COVID-19, including obesity, diabetes, hypertension, Emanuele is treated with a biological agent that exerts immunomodulating effect. So potentially, he could be at increased risk. So my experience and the study in order to reply to Emanuele issue. The first study had the objective of estimating the number of patients with psoriasis and renal transplanted patients who have been hospitalized or have died from COVID-19 infection during the pandemic in Verona. So it was a retrospective study between February and April. We collected data of patients with, uh, with psoriasis oncologic and renal transplanted patient in maintenance immunosuppressive treatment were obtained uh, from the electronic medical record of the University Hospital of Verona and were compared with the Verona general population. The slide is busy, but please focus your attention on this data we had no hospitalized patient or death patient out of 980 patient on biologics. We observed just one patient out of 247 renal transplanted patients. But our patient had an increased prevalence of comorbidities such as obesity, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes compared to the general population. In the second study, we had the same objective, so investigating number of hospitalized patients and number of deaths from COVID-19 during the acute phase of the pandemic in North Italy, and we collected data from Verona, Padua, Vicenza, Modena, Turin, and Milan. So the sample size was 5,206 patients with psoriasis receiving biological therapy. So the results are uh, 
uh, addressed in this red squared part of the slide, we had only four hospitalized patients for COVID-19 out of 5,206 patients, and we had no deaths in these sample size. Lastly, we enlarged again the sample size, 6,501 patients from Verona, Padua, Vicenza, Modena, Bologna, Piacenza, Turin and Milan, but we estimated also the incidence rate of hospitalization and deaths and the standardized incidence uh, ratio were estimated in psoriasis patient and compared with the general population in the same geographic area. We observed no difference in standardized incidence rate from hospi for hospitalized and deaths in psoriasis patient compared to the general population. Again, in psoriasis patient, the prevalence of comorbidities, obesity, hypertension, diabetes mellitus was significantly higher compared to the general population of the same geographic area. So should Emanuele stop biological treatment during the pandemic? There is no data to support treatment interruption. This is an evidence-based consideration. However, if a patient expresses major concerns about the safety of the therapy, discontinuation may be considered. This is an emotional-based consideration. Indeed, So we had in Italy that 2.6% interrupted the treatment during the period February uh, 22, April 22, and 1.8% out of more than 12,000 patients uh, stopped the treatment after consulting with their physician. which was the outcome of those patients on biologic who developed COVID-19. This is an important data from the pso protect registry. They collected data of 374 patients with psoriasis, 71% were receiving a biological agent, 18% a non-biological and 10% non-treatment. 49.3% uh, were fully recovered from COVID-19, 21% were hospitalized, and 2% died. An increased hospitalization risk was associated with older age, male sex, non-wine ethnicity, and comorbid chronic lung disease. Hospitalization was more frequent in patients using non-biologic systemic therapy than in those using biologics. So in conclusion, pandemic is a novel and challenging situation. There is no signal of an increased hospitalization or deaths from COVID-19 in psoriatic patients on biologic. Sharing the experience was very important for me, either in the emotional and professional perspective. And so Protect Registry is a precious, precious, precious source of data, international data, and beautiful collaboration. Thank for that. And thank all of you for your kind attention. Kind regards, Paolo.